happening everybody so trucking along singing a song not really the radio hasn't been on in a couple days just hanging out it's raining so that's awesome I'm sure we need it I ain't gonna complain but uh so I'm, I'm working on this whole diet thing again you know I've been off the rails for a long time my doc you know died COVID on me and you know, I had a, a doctor to go to and, you know, get my blood pressure medicine and my cholesterol medicine. I'm working on, I'm working on all that right now. And, uh, you know, I was in a weight loss program and, you know, all that blah, blah, blah stuff. But I'm like, you know what, boy, it sure would be nice to go ahead and just try to do this on my own and see how that goes. Maybe, maybe I need to try to do some of this on my own. I mean, I haven't gained that much weight since, you know, my doctor died and all that stuff and I got out of the weight loss program. Uh, I mean, I put back on, according to my scales, about somewhere between 10 and 20 pounds, which is way too fucking much if you ask me. So anyhow, I'm back to trying to get this weight off of me and, and my eating habits are what's really, really out of control. I ain't gonna lie. It's my eating habits that are so bad. And, uh, you know, I know how to lose weight. It's just a matter of, you know, putting in the work to lose weight. Like, I've lost a lot of weight before. I've lost, you know, 70 pounds, 80 pounds. I've lost a pile of weight and, you know, put it all back on because I'm a huge, ginormous asshole. And, uh, yeah, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll lose this again. No big deal. It's nothing. It's no big deal. And, and, I, and I did. I lost it again and, and then I put it back on again. Then I found it. Every time I lose it, I find it again. So... This time I want to try to do it a little bit different. I would like to do it differently this time around. And I'm trying, I'm having a really hard time stopping the dairy. Like, I love fucking dairy products. Not like actually having, you know, fucking dairy products. But like, I love dairy products. And, like, I love eating ice cream. It hates me. Like, it gives me the shits, the bloats, you know, makes me feel like a. Uh, I can't even explain. It feels like I'm going to die. Like, my insides are going to rot and fall out from the inside. Like, it's bad. And and I still end up eating a bowl of ice cream. Like, it's, it's retarded. I'm like a stupid dog that is over full but will still eat a steak if you throw it in front of it. That's me. That's how I am. I, I am a freaking animal. So, I guess what I'm wanting to know here is... I want to quit eating bread, right? So I'm just like, how about we start kind of small but kind of big and just cut one thing out. Let's just cut one thing out and, and, and try that. Let's cut bread. But my problem that I really have with that is that I, I really like chicken tenders, right? Like I freaking love chicken tenders. And I really, really like chicken slider sandwiches from Sheets, Wendy's, fucking you name it I love sliders so I need to not eat that bread anymore I think that's a really bad 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 problem for me uh, and I'm looking to cut out all bread I think it would do me some good even if I did it for a couple weeks and see how I feel with just cutting out the bread just, just go from there just 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 something but I guess my big question here is 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 the breading on chicken tenders the same thing as eating a piece of white bread. I don't think it is. Uh, I, I think it's a completely different thing. Like, I think I could actually eat breading on chicken and, you know, not completely fall off the rail. I mean, we're talking baby steps here, you know, just, just a couple steps here at a time. Just something to get me through this to kind of wean myself off of the fucking bread. Like, I eat a lot of bread. I eat me a lot of sandwiches. And I'm, I'm looking at, like, uh, yesterday, I went to Rudder's, and I bought a fucking grilled sandwich without no bread, and I got the extra meat offer, and I got sautéed mushrooms and bacon on it, and American cheese, and let me tell you, that son bitch was delicious. Like, that was fucking delicious. I didn't miss the bread. I really did not miss the bread. I didn't miss it at all. So I really want to try that with a few other things and see see how see how that goes. Like I can't eat onions. Onions will kill me. 
So I can't mix any onions in there. Anything with any type of seeds in it, I can't really add to it. So my options are kind of limited to add with it, I guess. You know, but the cheese and the bacon seem to be, you know, enough of an offset to make me not even think about the bread. So that was awesome. But I'm just like, oh my god! But what if I want a pizza fried chicken? You know, and I and I get the whole fried thing isn't good for you. But, you know, down at Rudder's, I don't even think they fry their shit in oil. It goes into some sort of, like, oven fryer thingy, and, you know, it's not all greased out or whatever. You know, it's not, I don't think it's terrible for you. As terrible for you, you know, it's one thing to get a fried piece of chicken and then put it on a piece of bread. Like, I feel like that's two totally different things. What if you still get the fried chicken, but you don't eat the fucking bread? You know, eat the bread in, just don't eat the bread. Like... That, that shouldn't be quite so bad, right? My wife says I'm semi-retarded for thinking that that's not the same thing. But when you look up, when you look it up, you look up fried breading or whatever versus a loaf of bread, like, like the two are not the same thing. It's, you're talking two totally different fucking things here. So, and I know that everybody's breading is different than the next guy's breading. So, I, I just think that I'm going to get bored with grilled chicken and this diet that I want to do is never going to last. That seems to be my biggest problem with all that is I get bored and I want to try new shit and I'm constantly cooking stuff and I'm like you know what this would really taste good on a piece of bread. So let's mix in some bread here and that's what always seems to happen to me is I'm just like yeah yeah let's put some bread on there. So but yeah guys this was not supposed to be a 10 minute long video but you know here we are at seven uh you know i'm back up to 310 to 315 depending on what time i get on the scale and you know i got out finally getting out to hike a little bit so that's been nice uh i think the more i get outside the more the spring gets here i'll be right back down under 300 again like my goal has been and always will be is to get under 250 uh you know i'm not i'm not looking for miracles here i'm not looking for like a buck 50 or nothing like that i don't want to look like i'm dead like I'm, I'm not looking to be super skinny here i'm fine with the uh, you know a chunky ass and a fucking chunky gut i just don't want to be obese like you know and according to the fucking you know the the fucking government at 250 i might still be obese because of how tall i am but that's fine that's okay i'm telling you i'll be i'll be if I can hit 250 and maintain 250, I'll be I'll be tickled for the fucking death. You know, 220 is my fight weight. That's where I gotta get down to to feel like I could, you know, run laps around these fucking kids, even though I feel like I could run laps around them already. Uh, you know, if I could get down to two, 220, 200, man, that would be that'd be almost a miracle. I don't see that ever happening. I mean, I can't say never because it's possible. Once I hit 250, I might just keep right on creeping down. I'd love to see 215 again. Oh, my God. I haven't seen that in <laughs> a long, long time. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm working on this whole... What the fuck is thing? Trying to get me to do all kinds of stupid shit. My GPS is... I'm out in Williamsport on the way down to Mifflin or uh, Middleburg. Middletown? Middleburg? Middleburg? Something like that. Oh, shut the fuck up. Why would I go that way? Like, it wants me to go down this way, turn on 64 instead of going right up here and getting on 80 and running down the fucking 99. Like, I'm not going that way. I'm sorry, but I'm not going that fucking way. Get off your fucking stupid fucking Google. I'm telling you, sometimes I just wonder, like, what's it going to save me? Fucking 30 seconds? The ride is so much better to go this way. Anyhow, I, uh... Yeah, I'm going to keep on working on this whole weight loss thing. There's a little bit of an update for anybody that, you know, listens to me fucking ramble on about dumb shit like this. But, like, I, I can't commit to, a, like, a serious diet for whatever reason. It's just next to impossible out here on the road. Uh, you know, I just, I just have to work my way up to something and see how it goes, I guess. Like, I just need to try to change a few things. Like, my eating habits are a big one. If I could quit eating so damn much, uh, so it's retarded. And I think it's because I get myself down depressed and 
I get to thinking about shit, next thing you know, I eat because I'm down, I eat because I'm depressed, but then I eat because I'm happy, I eat because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm smiling from ear to ear, I'm eat, I eat because whatever. You put in a reason and I, and I eat because of it. I'm bored, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm glad, I'm whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm eating because of that uh, at any point in time. And I need to, I need, I really just need to stop it. I, I, that's the honest to God truth. I just need to fucking stop it. But, hey everybody, peace and love. Hope everybody has a great, is having a great week. We're headed for Texas next week. Woo!